Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and on today's tips and tricks, we're going to talk a little bit about tacking things up. Part of being a fabricator and a welder is being able to create something that doesn't exist stock. Here we have a 1939 gooseneck that had a very long reach on it. And client wants this shortened up uh, so he could actually reach the bars. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you about tacking a piece up so we can keep this from kind of twisting up as much as we can and about how the heat tends to pull things to one side or another and how to try to counteract that just a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a tack right here in the front and then I will come and put a pretty solid tack here in the back and then I will start pulling it in on the sides with lighter tacks and when you tack something together it tends to shrink that area or make it want to pull that way so if you're doing a like a stanchion or something that's at 90 degrees and you come in on the bottom corner and put a lot of heat you're going to pull that thing off maybe a couple degrees so just something to keep in mind I'll show you how I do this and maybe you can apply this to some of your other projects why I'm tacking in the front first and then to the back is I'm not really worried about it pulling either to the front or to the back. I'm more concerned with left or right with the bars. So establishing good solid tacks there is what I'm worried about. And as I'm tacking in this aft portion, establishing a good size tack there. And I am using 3 16 2% serrated tungsten for this job. For the tacks on the side, I'm just doing a very light tack on each side just to kind of keep the heat in check. Ended up doing six tacks symmetrically all the way around the gooseneck. And now I'm just going and welding from like the left side from tack to tack, and I'll go from the right side from tack to tack. And I'll work my way around pulling the heat symmetrically throughout the part. As you can see, we got it all welded up. We got a nice uniform bead pattern all the way around. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera steaming, but uh, it is hot. It's pretty much heat soaked. Anyway, I'm going to let this thing uh, just come down uh, naturally. I'm not going to dunk it in water or anything like that. And from the looks of things, everything stayed pretty straight and accurate. Uh, what I'll do is I'll fixture it up and uh, put some bars in it and make sure that everything's straight. Might have to do a little bit of tweaking. Uh, anytime you put heat in something, it's going to pull one way or another. So we'll check that out and get it bent back into shape if, if necessary, and we'll go on. That's it for today's tips and tricks. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and I'll catch you here next time.